thought you was fat, now you all never gotta go. Yeah, I told my drop the jewels on them. You gotta go through this shit here with your. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new, thanks for clicking on this video, but make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss any of my videos. Today we're talking about Real Housewives of Atlanta. So Sonya has everybody on a tight schedule because she has all these different plans for each day. And it seems as if Kenya is just taking her time and she's been running late. So Sonya decides to confront Kenya on why she's being late. For me. I feel like if it was your trip, there's no way I wouldn't be where you want me to be at the right times. I feel like something has changed. As far as me being here, everything that you've, you know, planned so far been on time for. Oh, oh. Okay, Stella. Hey, Kenya, babe, are you gonna make it? I am trying. Hey! What's up, what's up? But to let you know what was going on, I did have a conversation with Brooklyn. Okay. It was kind of disturbing because for the last like two weeks, she has not been wanting to talk to her dad. And um, it seems like he doesn't even want to come to Atlanta. Aww. And um, I don't, I've been trying so hard not to let these things affect me. Sure. Oh, what up? Oh, How you doing? <laughs> What's up? This divorce is like crazy Too to me. Yeah. Protecting my daughter means everything to yeah, me. I and I just want her, I don't want her to lose the relationship with her dad. Every time I call you on something, Kenya, you bring up your ex-husband and how this is affecting your child. Listen, I'm gonna hang up because I'm like, no, that's not how you're, you're supposed to make somebody feel. And that's kind of like what happened in my marriage. It's yeah. like, I let so much stuff yes, slide. Right. Yeah. And now I'm just to the point where it's like, no, don't do that to me. You're using Mark as an excuse again? Come on, sis. Like, the math ain't mathing on this. Like, just own up to it. You're wrong. Okay, do y'all think that Kenya was just faking the tears or was it really about her daughter and the divorce? I think, I don't think she would make that up. Marlo and Sheree are talking about what happened at the dinner last night between Todd, Candy, and Marlo. And Sheree basically told her like, hey Marlo, you can kind of come off as aggressive when you're passionate about a conversation. But Marlo says, hey, Candy should just mind her business just went downhill whenever she heard Candy talk about her nephews. So how are you feeling? With everything that went down last night with you and Candy, which I did not see coming. I'm like, how the hell did that happen? I think sometimes your passion come off too aggressive. A little aggressive. But then it just went left. It did. Then I just felt like, what the hell were you worried about it for, Candy? Then you want to come in. Why were you even in it? You usually don't have nothing to say. Stay out of my business. Girl, what was it? Like, where did that come from? I mean, well, as far as I remember, I know she was, you know, saying stuff about Ralph or whatever, and I just kept feeling like, why are you saying the same thing basically you do? You know, and I just yeah, didn't understand that. And so then she started trying to go in on me. Right, I'm like, that was out of no damn way. So that's when it took a left turn. I get so sick and tired of Marlo being a hypocrite. She wanted to dog Ralph about his parenting when her parenting isn't so great. Stop giving him the third degree. Give yourself the third degree. I think more so than anything, it pissed me off when she started disrespecting my husband. Yes. It's like, ma'am, get the f off of me. So back on the bus, Marlo tries to make small talk with Candy, basically forgetting about the whole argument last night. And Candy's like, why are you talking to me? And I'm the same way. If I'm mad, if we get into an argument, don't try to come at me like nothing happened. Like, no, it happened. Candy, uh, Simon just uh, got Portia Rose Royce. She's like, Candy, huh? Candy, why are you talking to me? Oh, girl, you're so silly. Now, you that motherfucking man. Girl. Girl, but that's the, but okay, well, don't say nothing, bitch. Just you so, don't say nothing. You're so petty, girl. I'm up, bitch, petty. You grown. Bitch, shut candy. the f you are like, petty. I am in talk you're to you. Don't sure. talk to me. I can talk to you. Don't, don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Don't talk to me. Go on with your bullshit. Grow up. Now you're Why not you listening to anything she's right? saying. Uh, I'm done. Anything. I'm done. Why? Why? She never wanted the attention. I'm sorry for her. You're Keep you sorry. I'm sorry. Keep you sorry. I'm sorry. Keep your mother sorry. Candy. 
One of my favorite parts of this episode was when they were on the boat and Kenya's just living her best life, just getting her groove back, as she says. And Sheree is talking about her, she by Sheree, and mentions that, hey, Kenya, can you walk the runway? And it kind of turned into a twerk session. Not necessarily designers, but I have walked a runway too. <laughs> Literally two runways. <laughs> That's what the trip should have been about. Just having fun, letting your hair down. So we're at another dinner um, and Ralph decides to read a little excerpt from his book. <laughs> this is an extremely meaningful project for me. The book is going to be called The Step in Parenting. We must define family not by last names and blood. We must define family in our hearts and love. I wanted to write a book about being the stepdad because I thought I had all the answers and I realized I didn't. And I know that other people are also going through the same situation because no one is taught how to be a stepfather. Assuming the role of a parent to a child that is not biologically yours can prove to be complicated at best. I took on the role of dad and jumped in head first without an instruction manual. The challenges that people have to face to navigate co-parenting, it's not easy, it's a journey. I don't need anything telling me that I'm JoJo's father. I'm already, I play the role, he calls me dad. The more safe places that we vow to create that support raw, honest, transparent conversation, the more we can learn and grow together. The pages of this book reveal my story, my truths, and lessons I learned along my journey to put the step in parenting. Oh, wow. I love it. Right there. That was great. I'm just fighting back tears at this point because I feel like in this moment, he is opening up in a way that he's never opened up about Josiah. I'm appreciative for the relationship, so, We'll table the adoption conversation for now. So Kenya and Sheree decide to express to Sonia that they felt that they were uninvited, but Sonia's husband thought that they were ganging up on her and he puts his foot Today down. He just told me you told her we didn't show up. I called you twice. Did you call back? Did you find out? Did you try to Why get us there? Why would I call back? I thought y'all were going to go on the catamaran. So what is the big deal? You no, haven't checked on us all day. Day. I was we working. You want me to stop running and say, oh, the girls are here, guys. I can't work. Let me see. Hi, hi, Kenya and Trey. Yeah, well, actually, I do. Why does it seem like Kenya wants to pick a fight with me? Like, I sent the invite to whoever wanted to come. So I wasn't surprised when she didn't show up. Now, you know, if Kenya really wanted to be there, she could have called a cab like she did yesterday. Kenya made it. Hey. What's up? What's, What's up? What's up? On? Like, that's how you treat your guests? Kenya, I was working. I would not expect you to but stop you what you break, were doing. Right? I told you earlier that okay. I felt a way that I felt like you uninvited me. I For some like reason, I went to the lobby. Well, you weren't there. One at a time. One at a time. We can talk whenever we want. Yeah, but Let's I sent you a text. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, please. I don't rock like that. Don't f with my wife. Now let's get into the main event What we all came here for Who do you think won? Was it Marlo or was it Drew? Can we talk about what Marlo had on? I mean hey She's confident Who do you think won? Leave a comment down below If we were to ask Candy who do you think won She would definitely say it was Drew She's not betting on Marlo I mean you can't blame her because they got beef it was a cute, it was a fun little race, but somebody had to lose. And somebody, that somebody I think is Drew. Comment down below who do you think lost for Drew. All jokes aside, I do feel bad for Drew. Like she really was trying to win. And then after her victory, jumping up and down when she thought she won. She ends up hurting her foot. It was a good episode. Let me know what y'all think about this episode.